we need to take this amount, and this is the source currency Canadian dollar. We have to convert it to the target currency, Great Britain pound. And we have to do it by looking up CAD. That's the column position. Then we look up GBP. That's the row position. And that intersecting value is the conversion rate. We multiply by the original source currency amount to get the target currency amount. And this is not how we want to do it. Now, the original question came from someone that asked how to create this conversion formula using the if function. Well, that's how you do it with the if formula, but there's a much easier way. And we have to decide, do we want to use VLOOKUP or the new amazing XLOOKUP? All right, the old school using index match and match, that's a pretty good method. We have the lookup table. And then to generate the row position, we use the match function. And then to generate the column position, we use the match function again. But this is three functions. And for me, when I go old school, I like to use VLOOKUP because I can do it with only two functions, equals VLOOKUP. Because the target currency is in the first column of, in essence, this table of values, I'm going to look up that value first, comma. There's the first column and all subsequent columns. F4 to lock it, comma. And the column index number, I'm going to use match here. We're going to look up source currency, comma. And very carefully, I'm going to highlight one cell before the actual values. That's position 1, 2, 3. And for this particular first row example, we need column position 4. F4 to lock it, comma. 0, because we're doing exact match lookup. Close parentheses. And then comma. We also, for VLOOKUP, are doing exact match. So I'm putting a 0 or false. And that's the formula I like to use for two-way lookup. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. With the whole column selected, I use the F2 key to put the active cell at the top in edit mode. And then I multiply, multiplication, times this amount. To populate the edited formula throughout the highlighted range, I simply use Control Enter. Now let's go try XLOOKUP and see if that is easier. Equals XLOOKUP. I first need to look up the whole row. So I'm going to look up target, comma, the lookup array, those values there, one to five rows, comma, and the return array in Microsoft 365, the new calculation engine, allows me to select the full table. And because I'm looking up a single value, it's going to try and return this row right here, the full row. Close parentheses. Now, if I Control Enter or Enter, I get a spill error because there's something in the cell there. But F2 and then F9, I can see that, sure enough, that row has been looked up. Now, from this row, now I need to pick out the column. Control Z. So after the equal sign, a second X lookup. This time, we're looking up source currency, comma, within that range right there, comma, and there's the return array. And then at the end, close parentheses, Control Enter. Whoops, F2. I forgot to lock. So I'm going to very carefully click on the argument screen tip to highlight everything. F4, F4, F4. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. F2 times amount. Control Enter. And we get the same amount. Now, I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Which one do you like, XLOOKUP two times? Or back over here, VLOOKUP and MATCH? Oh, and guess what? We don't even have to use the old school MATCH, which requires that we specify exact match, because the old MATCH, the default was approximate match. So we can use the new XMATCH function. I'm going to copy that over here in Edit Mode, Control-V. Highlight everything to the end and delete. XM, I see it there, so I hit Tab. We're looking up this, comma, very carefully the cell before, F4 to lock it, and that's it. If I close parentheses on X match, the default is exact match. So that's a little bit easier, comma. 
we still have to put exact match for VLOOKUP, zero or false, close parentheses. And then times, there's the amount. Control Enter, double click and send it down. All right, so is it old school, new school, and old school together, or just plain new school?